Unfortunately guys, Tom's had a bit of a nightmare. He's got pinged up and he's done a COVID test and it's come back positive. So he's isolated at the moment. See what happens. I'm not really too sure the rules and procedures, but we're kind of looking into that. So unfortunately, the Spicy Brothers are split up at the moment. Big Tom is have to, having to stay in the house and maybe he hasn't. Maybe he's just not wanting to come into work and making me do all the stuff. So. I don't know, either or. So unfortunately Tom's having to isolate and we'll see him soon. I'm gonna go through my predictions for Europe's Strongest Man. So first things first, the athletes that are competing, I've got a list here. Tom Stoltman, Luke Stoltman, Alexei Novikov, Adam Bishop, Mikhail Shivlikov, Graham Hicks, Irvin Toots, Rauno Heinle, Pat O'Dwyer and Gav Bolton. Good athletes competing there. Um, alongside Europe's Strongest Man, we're doing the World Loglift Championships. So Iron Bibby's going to come across for that as well. So, event one um, at Europe's Strongest Man is the World Loglift Challenge or the Championship. So Max Log Press. Um, we're, all the guys that I've just read out will all be competing there. I'm hoping it's going to be a really good one for me. Uh, obviously just hit two, 210 kilos pretty comfortably at the weekend uh, for the last event session. Um, Iron Bibby, as always, Iron Bibby's just a beast when it comes to pressing anything. We both had a similar injury, our biceps weren't the best. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Bibby's feeling great coming in top form because I'd love to see him hit something good. Graham Hicks is going to do really well on this log press as well. Tom as well. Uh, I think he's he's got probably one of the best log presses in the world um, also. I'm expecting myself to win this one. Hicksy I think I'll be second and I think Tom Tom will come top three in that as well. I think Tom will come third. So that's event number one. Hey guys, Big T here with my prediction video for this weekend's Europe's Strongest Man and the Log World Championship. So let's start with obviously the first event. The World Log Lift Championships, you know, we've got some big log pressers in the field. You got Iron Bibby as a special guest, Graham Hicks, um, and Luke Stoltman. I think these three guys are the three guys that will be the closest to the 230 kilograms. Obviously, in my eyes, I think Luke will have the best opportunity to get get it. Um, you know, Hicks has been out in Shaw Classic, he only just got back a day or so ago, so. You know, jet lag fatigue, a lot of that will kick in. Uh, Iron Bibby as well, the big travel as well. For me, all eyes are on Luke. Um, Luke's capable of doing it. Physically, he's capable. Mentally, I think it's all in the head. Uh, on the day, you know, he needs to kind of believe in himself. And he can't overthink about it. And he just needs to go out and do what he does in training. So the world record will be broken by Luke on the day. And uh, it'll be a very good battle between Hexy and Iron Bibby. Event number two is the Giants Live Shield Carry. I believe it's 180 kilos. Um, max distance wins this one. I, I really enjoy these type of events. I haven't done it for a, a couple of years now. But Alexi's notorious for these type of events. He's brilliant at moving events. Tom also, he's great. So I, I think for me the top three will be... Tom, myself and, and Alexi, I don't know the order. I'd like to put myself first again, obviously. But yeah, if, if we can get top three again, that's really kind of putting us um, forward for some good points. So then we actually go on to the show now. So second event of the day will be the Shield Walk. This will favour, obviously, the, you know, the kind of lighter guys, the guys that are very conditioned, you know, Adam Bishop, Novikov, Luke again, um, Raulno. Hansen probably, yeah, those, I think those ten, five, six guys have a very good chance of doing this as well. Um, I don't know uh, who the top three is. This is a hard one for top three, but I'm thinking Luke in third, Bishop seven, Novikov first. Novikov will come into this comp fr fresh as well. Obviously, he didn't do the short classic, so he's got that advantage on a lot of guys as well. So, um yeah, I think Novikov will win the shield carry. The next event, a Europe's Strongest Man, will be the Axel Deadlift. I believe it's 350, 360 kilos. Got some great deadlifters here. Rauna, if he comes in shape, he's great at deadlifting. Uh, Adam Bishop. For me, yeah, Adam's the best. I think Adam's probably the best deadlifter in the world at the moment. Um, certainly for repetitions, he's just a phenomenal 
phenomenal puller. Yeah, I would say Adam's gonna gonna take this one. Alexi, um, never write him out as well. He's a great deadlifter. Just pulled a thousand pounds. Come on, Asla! Big Tom, if his hamstring's feeling good, he can keep up with the best of them. For me, in this one, it's uh, minimising, you know, the the kind of damage and trying to, you know, finish as high as I can in this one. Which, um, you know, the way deadlifts have been feeling, they've been feeling okay. I'm hoping after Max Log and Shield, I'll be, you know, setting on good points and be able to come in towards the end of the pack in the deadlift um, and see what I really need to do. So, yeah, for me, top three, I would say, Bish. Rauna, Alexi and Tom, either or, I'm not sure for the, the third spot, but yeah, that's going to be a great a great deadlift, I think. If he's on form, the favourite for this event is Adam Bishop. Um, it just depends, obviously, again, how his body's feeling with all the travelling and stuff he's been doing, but, you know, you can't bet against Adam Bishop. So, for me, Bishop, and then probably Bishop, Hicks, Hicksy, and then... Built-in will be up there. I think those three will be the three on the deadlifts that you need to kind of watch. Novikov as well, probably. I mean, Novikov is a uh, unbelievable right now. So again, him being fresh, he could be in the top three. But deadlift again is a very hard one. But Bishop needs to be, you know, winning that one. I think again, uh, he wins ninety-nine percent of the deadlifts he does. So that's my uh, top three position. Protection again. The next event is the 450 kilo car walk. So I think most of us have all done this at Europe's great event. It looks quite cool, you know. It's yeah, basically picking up a, a car and running with it as fast as we can. I, I'm starting to really enjoy these type of events. Before it was a bit of a, a weakness of mine, but now I think I've really my my core stability has really come on strong, and yeah, I'm very confident in my ability in this this type of events. We've got some great guys. Bishop, Adam again, really fast at these events. Um, Alexi as well, very, very speedy. I know Alexi's been having some knee problems, but I can imagine it not making a difference for him and myself. I'd put myself up there. So Adam, Alexi and myself um, and Tom as well. Um, Tom, Tom, on a good day, he's, he's really quick at this. He's got those big strides, so top three finish in the car walk. For the car walk, the fourth event of the day the car walk you know for me this is obviously again between bishop novikov and maybe hixi as well uh, hixi in the past has been really good at this um like i said this comes very hard because these guys have just come back off from short classic and you know short classic as i i seen a few highlights of it was a brutal competition um and then traveling all the way back to have two or three days recovery is not ideal so, you know, it just depends if people are injured, how fatigued they are, if they're going to get injured at the competition as well. But let's say for Carwalk, Bishop, Novikov, Hexy, top three in that event. The Atlas Stones, I mean, I think we all know who's going to win this. It's pretty, pretty night and day and that Tom's going to win this and then the rest of us are going to battle and um, battle it out. So, yeah, on my on my day, I can, I can put in a really good time. Adam Bishop's been doing really good times in Stones. Um, Alexi as well. Yeah, Graham's a great stone lifter, and also Graham for the car walk as well. Graham can really shift with with those type of implements. But um, yeah, Tom for the win. I think I can really push on and get second in this one. That's gonna. And again, with with the the Atlas stones, it all depends where you kind of come in, um, or where you're placed going into the final event. So if I'm sitting in first place going into the final event, I'm gonna have all that adrenaline. I'm just gonna just go berserk on these stones um, but if you're sitting towards the end of the pack you, you're almost a bit more um, reserved with, with Atlas stones because it's the last event but yeah I, I think I can really put in a good time in these stones I'm super excited to kind of get, get into them so yeah for me it's going to be Tom, myself um, and Bish I think will be in the top three here so, f so for overall standings um, I'm putting myself up there, you know, I'm coming here to win Europe's Strongest Man. The guys that are there are great athletes, you get two of the last World's Strongest Men there, you know, the current Tom Stolten, World's Strongest Man, 
last year's champion, Alexei Novikov there as well. Adam Bishop, who's just a prolific strongman, he's one of the greatest um, in the world at the moment. Graham Hicks, if he's you know uh, fully firing, he's he's a great athlete. Round uh, Gavin Bolton, who's just a monster of a man. Irvin Toots last year who got podium at uh, Europe's Strongest Man, so there's some great pedigree there, but top three I think for this. Myself, Tom, you can't write, oh jeez, myself, Tom. I'm in the top four, I don't know. So, myself, Tom, Bish and Alexi. Adam, Graham, I've just come back from the Shaw Classic, which looked like a, an awesome show, so. Hopefully they're not feeling too fatigued and they can come in and put on a good show, really good good display and um, we can kind of throw it down and, and see who can, uh, can take away the title. And then, last but not least, out the stones. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one because down in Manchester when I was watching this, loads of people surprised me, especially Bishop. Uh, he got an 18 second stone run. Um, Luke as well is getting faster and faster, so... I think in this one, it'll be between Luke and Bish for top top spot, and then Hansen, and then Novikov maybe. Um, Novikov's great at the stones, but I think there's the height at the start that gets him a wee bit. Um, but yeah, I think it might be Luke, Bish, Hansen for the top three in the stones. Um, but stones are going to be great this year. It's going to be uh, very, very cool to see. And a wee announcement as well, as why I've not said anything like any of the events for myself and that I'm going to place is uh, Sinead got COVID yesterday, so it's on Thursday and uh, I've now got it Thursday night. So unfortunately, for safety, I will not be competing during the weekend. I feel like it's for me, it's just a cold, but Sinead on the other hand has been hit hard of it. So... You know, we're just going to try and stay safe and then we're going to be there at Scotland, you know. I have to quarantine till uh, Wednesday, Thursday next week, so I still have a, a lot of time to uh, train for Scotland. For me, it's beneficial. You know, now I'm not... I didn't uh, have the best prep for Europe's anyway. Um, You know, two weeks in enough for me. So now I get this extra kind of week and a half to do some stuff at home. Um, I have stuff at home now, you know. I'll... Uh, get my diet back on point, get back into a routine, because I'm going to be in the house now, I get to get back into that, like, strong man mindset, which will be good for me, um, and I'm just going to keep my body as healthy as I can. Sorry that I won't be there again, um, it's out of my hands, you know, I've done uh, two or three day tests within <laughs> 24 hours, the first ones came up negative, and then the next two came positive, so, you know, I'm just going to keep myself safe, but, um, I mean, for me, it would be awesome to have the, the world log lift record, uh, 230 kilos, which we'll be going for. That's um, super exciting for me. But also, for me, the, the most important thing is to to, to compete and, and be Europe's strongest man. I think that's, for me, that's an awesome title to have. Um, I think, you know, the likes of half Thor when he was winning it all the time and you know it's just such a prolific title to have so for me that's one of the best titles in, in Strongman so I'm really wanting to put on a good show um, doing all my recovery we're doing a deload week this week um, to get the body kind of primed and ready for um, Europe's Strongest Man so it's going to be amazing really excited to compete in front of the crowd again uh, Leeds the stadium in Leeds that we're competing in is just it's ridiculous how how colossal it looks. So hopefully all you guys will be there um, and yeah, we'll see you down there. So that's basically my predictions. Top three, me, Tom, Alexi. I've got to say Alexi, I think, in the, in the podium spot. Yeah, I'm putting myself number one, Europe's strongest man. I'm sure Tom's might differ a little bit, but hopefully you'll enjoy Tom's predictions just as much as mine. Hope you guys have a great show. Please cheer on Luke. Please cheer on all the British guys for me. And uh, we will 150% see you at Giant Slice Scotland in Glasgow. Big love, guys. Stay safe. Smile. And stay spicy.
And don't forget to ring that little bell, guys. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs>